हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रो फ्लो फ्रेंड्स डू यू नो हाउ यू कैन कन्वर्ट योर ग्रेप वाइन इन टू द अनदर टाइप ऑफ ग्रेप वाइन ऑफ योर चॉइस और व्हाट आर द मेथड्स विथ विच यू कैन ग्राफ द ग्रेप वाइन सो दैट यू गेट द न्यू प्लांट विथ योर चॉइस ऑफ वेराइटी इन जनरल मोस्ट कॉमनली टू मेथड्स आर यूज फॉर कन्वर्टिंग योर ग्रेप वाइन इन टू द डिजायर वेराइटी फर्स्ट इज द चिप बर्ड ग्राफ्टिंग विच इज मोस्टली यूज फॉर द ओवर ग्रोन रूट स्टॉक प्लांट्स एंड अनदर मेथड इज अ वेज ग्राफ्टिंग विच इज मेनली यूज फॉर द यंग रूट स्टॉक वेर द स्टेम थिकनेस इज नॉट सो बिग वेन द स्टेम थिकनेस इज अबाउट द पेंसिल साइज यू कैन यूज द वेज ग्राफ्टिंग एंड डू द ग्राफ्टिंग सक्सेसफुली बट वेन योर रूट स्टॉक इज ग्रोन ओवर साइज लाइक this big big one then the wedge grafting will not be having the good success in this case we can use the chip bud grafting and graft our grape vine very successfully so today in this video i am going to explain you in detail about the and get the successful graft in your grape vine to know in detail please stay connected to the video till the end let's start the video so friends this is my grape vine plant which is of the rootstock variety 110r the another rootstock variety dograge is also used in india but this is the 110r and now it has been more than one year since i have planted this rootstock now i want to convert this into the different variety of the grape vine so i am going to graft this today for that first we need to clean this plant and remove all this vegetative growth about the 1 and 1/2 to 2 feet height and then we will graft this around 1 feet height so first we will clean this all this fresh growth with the help of this cutter like this so now you can see that we have clean our plant totally and you can see the multiple stems of the root stock is there now we have few thick stems where we have chip bud grafting is done and the stems which are pencil thick we can do the wedge grafting in this video i am going to show how you can do the wedge grafting on this pencil thick stems of the root stock for that we need to have three things one the grafting knife second the skeons and third a grafting tape or the plastic wrap watch the video till the end and if you find this video interesting and useful then give me a like also share it with the like minded people express your view in a comment box and feel free to give any suggestions to improve let's watch the video don't forget to subscribe now it is very simple when we want to do the wedge grafting we need to make the fresh cut over here so we have cut freshly then we need to make the wedge shape slot into this so i am going to make the wedge shape slot into this see so we have made the wedge shape slot into this now these are the bud from bud we need to cut the two side slot and wedge shape bud so you can see that we have cut this wedge and we are keeping the two eyes on this so we are keeping two eyes to sprout so here we are making the cut we can keep the one eye also but here we are keeping the two eyes then we simply need to insert this matching the cambium layer so that it will make the good joint the care we should take this that the cut portion should not remain open at any point after we make the joint we need to tightly pack this for that 
we are using this plastic strip and we are starting this wrapping this strip from the bottom so we need to ensure two things one there should not be any air gap second we need to tight it to the level that layer of the all the cambium should be tightly in contact so we are tightly winding this so that layer of the cambium remains in full contact see so we have make this joint tight enough once we make the joint again we need to open this plastic and cover it so that no water should enter to the graft joint here again we are little stretching and fixing this we can keep it tight and and close this graft also so that water will not spoil our graft also it will keep the graft moist while it sprouts so you can see that we have made this graft ready and once we done this we need to simply lock the plastic over here so this is how we have made the wedge graft so this is how we have completed our grafting work on this grape vines we have done four with the chip bud grafting and two with the wedge grafting we'll see the result after 15 days which i will update you with the separate video meanwhile we need to take very little care for this grafting we only need to ensure that it is not get disturbed and there should not be overwatering over this graft after 15 days we need to check this graft whether this swelling is appear into this bud or not if the swelling is there then that's a sign that this graft is joined sometime it may take 20 days at time we need to gently open this plastic and check for the healing if this a joint is heal then we again need to wrap this plastic little loose on this this is how we can make successful graft into this grape vine so how do you like the grafting of this grape vine with your selection or the choice of the variety write me back into the comment and do your grafting for your favorite varieties happy growing